Hello everybody, I am the Wild Man, and I am here to rank kickers for your fantasy football team. So, let's get this started. The number one kicker is Young Ho Koo. Probably butchered that name, but he was the number one kicker last year. Um, the Atlanta Falcons offense constantly stalled out near the 20-yard line, so he got a lot of opportunities to kick field goals. Um, he did seem to uh, mess up a game or two under pressure, but for the most part, he was the number one kicking uh, kicker last year, so he's got to be number one this year. So, uh, all right. Number two, Tyler Bass from the Buffalo Bills. He has a lot of field goals. Uh, he had a lot of field goals last year. He's really solid. He uh, made a lot of game winners, so I... He's going to do really well, especially with that offense, getting them in the range, uh, a lot of extra points. Uh, and every once in a while they will stall, so he'll get the opportunities for some decent field goals. Uh, number three is Graham Gano. Uh, Graham Gano is uh, one where he had to kick a lot of long field goals, which uh, helped him with uh, a lot of points. Uh, Giants tend to stall out fairly early. Um, Saquon's coming back, so I think they'll get a little bit closer to the goal line, but I do foresee a lot of field goals in the Giants' future. Number four is Ringo Blankenship for the Indianapolis Colts. It's another team that stalled out a lot, had to kick a lot of field goals. Their defense did bail them out a lot, uh, to keep him in games, but it was pretty much the kicker and the defense that uh, carried the Indianapolis Colts, which I believe is going to be pretty much the case this year as well. So, number five is former Detroit Lion Matt Prater. Matt Prater has always been one of my favorite kickers. He is one of the most accurate kickers and I don't foresee that changing in Arizona. So, number six is Matt Gay from the Los Angeles Rams. He is going to benefit from Matt Stafford being there. I think he's going to get a lot more opportunities. Uh, he's going to get a lot more extra points this year. So that is why he is my number six kicker. My number seven kicker is Justin Tucker. This is another offense that stalls out way too often close to the goal line and has to settle for a lot of three points, which is beneficial to Justin Tucker. So beneficial for him, bad for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, he does kick a lot of game winners, so he I do foresee a lot of field goals, extra points uh, coming his way uh, in terms of that. Number eight is Jason Myers from the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, he gets on the field quite often in Seattle. Uh, Russell Wilson does get sacked a lot, especially in the red zone which does cause them to kick a lot more field goals than they would like. So that's why he is on this list at number eight. Number nine is Jason Sanders from Miami. This is another team where offense, again, stalls out a lot, which puts the kicker in range to get those points. So... That is the reason why he is at number 9. Number 10 is Ryan Suckup from Tampa Bay. He's going to get a lot of extra points, not really a lot of 
field goals uh, for the most part, but he's going to be pretty consistent, uh, so that's why he is at my number 10 spot. My number 11 spot is Daniel Carlson from the Las Vegas Raiders. It's another one. Um, he's often stalls out way too often, and a lot of times he's not in range, uh, which does go against him uh, because he doesn't get a chance to really uh, kick some of the field goals that should be. They should be should have been in range, but they don't get in range. Uh, so that's why he is at the number 11 spot. My number 12 spot is Robbie. Is that, uh, sorry, uh, Greg Zerline from Dallas. Um, this is one that's going to benefit a lot from extra points. Um, the defense is going to be scored on a lot. I think Dallas is going to be in an arm race every single game. So he's going to be kicking a lot of extra points. Uh, the offense will stall out a few times just to, so he'll get a few extra, uh, field goals that way. But for the most part, it's going to be a lot of extra points, and Dallas is going to have to be a very high-scoring offense in order to compete. Um, so that's my list of my 12 kickers, and thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.